Welcome to the setup guide for ChatEye, the AI-driven mod that brings dynamic, immersive conversations to Mount and Blade 2, Bannerlord. With ChatEye, NPCs respond in real time based on their personality, faction, and relationship with you, making every interaction unique. In this guide, I'll show you how to set up ChatEye using OpenRooter one of the best and most accessible options for AI-powered conversations in Bannerlord. Before we begin, let's quickly go over the different AI model options available for ChatEye. First, OpenAI API. This gives the best results, works on any PC, but requires paid credits and is censored. Next, OpenRooter. This is the recommended option, offering both free and paid models. It works on any PC and even lets you use OpenAI through OpenRooter. Finally, local models with Olima or Cobalt CPP. These are completely free, but require a high-end PC to run large AI models efficiently. For this guide, we'll be setting up OpenRooter, which provides the best balance between performance, accessibility, and cost. First, head over to ChatEye's Nexus Mods page. The link is in the description, and download the mod. Next, you'll need Mod Configuration Menu version 5, also known as MCM, and its required dependencies. These include Harmony, Butterlib, and UI Extender X. Download and install all of these as well. Once the files are downloaded, you'll need to extract them. Do not use Windows Default Extractor. It can sometimes block files and cause issues. Instead, use 7-Zip, which is free and works perfectly. Right-click the file, hover over 7-Zip, and select Extract here. Once extracted, you'll have the mod files ready to install. Now, open Steam, go to Bannerlord, right-click the game, and select Properties. Next, go to the Installed Files tab and click Browse. This will open the game's installation folder. Now, open the Modules folder, then copy all the extracted chat AI files into it. Make sure there are no extra folder layers. The mod files should be placed directly inside the Modules folder. Now, start Bannerlord, go to the Mods tab, and enable the following Harmony, Butterlib, UI Extender X Mod Configuration Menu. And finally, Chat AI, once everything is enabled, click Play to launch the game. Once you're in-game, go to Mod Options, find ChatEye, and select Open Router as the back end. Now, you'll need an Open Router API key and a model name. Let's get those now. First, go to the Open Router website, linked in the description. Create an account if you don't already have one. Click on your profile icon in the top right corner, then go to Keys. Click Create New Key, Give it any name, then copy it. Now, go back to Bannerlord's mod options and paste this key into the Open Router API text box. Next, you need to choose a model to use with Open Router. Click on the Models tab on the Open Router website. Here, you'll see many different AI models available. If you want a free model, use the slider to filter by free options. For this guide, I'll be using Mistral Free version which I highly recommend if you're not sure what to choose. Once you've found the model you want, click it, then click Copy to Clipboard under the model name. Now, go back to Bannerlord's Mod Options and paste the model name into the Open Router model name setting. Now that everything is set up, let's test it in-game. Walk up to any NPC and select the Chat With Me dialog option. Type your message and send it. Now, wait for the message saying, I am ready to respond, in the bottom left corner. Once you see it, click Continue, and the NPC will respond dynamically. ChatEye works with most other mods and is previous save-friendly, so you can use it in your existing campaigns. If you need more help with setup or troubleshooting, join the ChatEye Community Discord, linked in the description. And that's it! You're now ready to experience AI-driven conversations in Bannerlord with ChatEye. If this guide was helpful, 
drop a like, subscribe, and check the links in the description for setup resources. Thanks for watching and enjoy your journey through Calradia.